How's it going guys? So today we are looking at the cheapest pocket knife that I could find on Amazon. So I've been concealed carrying this knife for three or four weeks now. It's done surprisingly well. So we're going to go and review this small M-Tech spring assist and then we're going to do some modifications. So first it is a spring assisted knife. The action's actually really good on it. The thing feels like it's gonna pop out of your hand. I like it. Now the the chrome on here, a little bit much, the high gloss finish. It's a little bit much for me. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna acid etch the blade, the carry clip, as well as this uh, spacer that they have in here. And the biggest downside of this knife is this really cheap plastic. It's got to be the cheapest plastic I've ever felt. So we're going to get rid of that. We're going to make a nice wood uh, skin for it. Because honestly, I don't mind this knife. Edge retention is not amazing, but for $6, it's kind of crazy. Also has a bottle opener on the back here. The carry clip has some uh, almost look like Allen. Uh, hexagon shapes there but uh, you're definitely not going to be using that to pry on anything so honestly so far knife's been kind of impressive for six dollars it's awesome the uh, coolest thing about this one for me is when I'm going to work I don't want to be carrying a really big knife or else it, it you got to be careful these days and uh, a bigger knife can intimidate people and uh, you could end up in HR, so we don't want any of that. But the problem I have with this guy, it's a fidget knife, that's for sure. But uh, yeah, one thing to make sure is that these things are legal to have in your area. But uh, this guy's definitely had some use so far. I'm opening a lot of boxes at work and uh, it's really not been terrible. Not the best. But for $6, you shouldn't expect the best, that is for sure. So, we are going to acid etch this guy. We're going to make a new handle scale for it. And this, <laughs> this is going to be a badass knife for $6 from Amazon. The wood scales are single scale because if you look on the back here, it does not have another scale. It is just the... Uh, uh, probably aluminum backing plate either aluminum or some really cheap steel but uh, so we're gonna change one of them which kind of sucks because I'll actually probably end up using red oak for this guy just because that's the only thing I have that's really thin this uh, this handle scale material on here has got to be just a few millimeters it's it's really thin guys like not even a quarter of an inch so and if you can see can't see on that side if you can see here the fitment wasn't perfect when they put it together so the uh, it looks like the screws are pushing up on the spacer right here I don't know if it's gonna let me right there so we're gonna make one better and we're gonna make it so that it doesn't do that but Let's get to it. Okay guys, I've started disassembling. It's really not, uh, not hard at all to, uh, take apart just a few uh, Torx screws. You're gonna want the knife out since it's spring assisted. You don't want everything flying apart. It still can, but uh, when you have it together, the spring's under full tension, which you don't want. So I'm gonna keep taking this apart. Camera died when I was in the middle of it, so. Right there you can see your spring that gives this thing a really nice uh, 
snappy opening. So I got the handle scale off and I think I'm going to pass on making this wood due to the uh, how hard it's probably going to be to make this recessed area right here for the spring. A uh, good amount of grease in there is what you want to see which is what they did from the factory. Looks pretty good so far considering I've probably flicked this thing in a thousand times literally. Um, may change up the pattern on the front, may just drill uh, some really small holes all over make it look really cool. But uh, we'll see. Let's uh, let's get stone washing the uh, other parts. So one of the things I want to mention, guys, you can tell I've been using this. There's a whole lot of uh, leftover residue from tape that I've been cutting. So what you want to do is use acetone or alcohol and get that off before we go dip this in ferric chloride. Much better. We got some scratches on there. I'm really not going to worry about those since we're going to stonewash this guy anyway. So we have the first piece here. Sorry, I'm trying to get this in focus for you. We have the first piece here. I'm going to drop it in. I just used a chain. This is what you'd normally use to hold on like uh, LED light fixtures. I used to have some uh, just steel wire, but I'm not sure where it got to, so I'll have to get some more when I'm out today. And I'm gonna let those etch. As you guys can see, now we have more of a gunmetal than a high gloss color. So what we're gonna do, we wet the piece a little bit with water and then we're going to rub it with some of the steel wool. We're not trying to rub off the whole, all of the color, just trying to get it a little scratched up and we're going to put it back in, get a nice dark edge on there. This solution I'm using here is actually pretty strong. This is a one-to-one -one solution of fair chloride and water, but get a nice color on them. That's another thing I'm going to make, guys, is sometime today I'm going to make a uh, solution that already has baking soda mixed in. So then I don't just have to do it like this, which is a little, uh, not efficient. Well, that's your finished product there. The uh, etch mark where they had their name on it is uh, showing up a little dark right there, but I'm not too worried about it. Okay guys, so that's the gunmetal finish there from the ferric chloride, dipped twice, hit with uh, quarter all. Um, steel wool and then now I'm going to throw them in with ceramic beads and tumble them. Okay guys, this has been in there for probably 10-15 minutes. Let's see what we got. Got a little bit of 
bit of stone wash look to the pieces that were just uh, painted black. So that's, that's good. That's what we're going for. Same on that one. Here's what we're looking for on the parts that were really bright and chrome before. Looks great. Good afternoon guys, so I've been working on this knife, I uh, had to take a few days off, you know how it goes, you're in the middle of a project and something comes up, but uh, here's the texturing that I got, just using a drill bit and going all over it, looks a lot better than the really cheap plastic that I started with, so that really wasn't hard at all, the problem is now that it's been a few days getting this back together might be fun, um, I have purchased grease somewhere around here and uh, it may not be the specific grease that you need to that everyone would recommend but a good grease is a good grease and uh, for the application of just keeping that spring lubricated regular household grease is gonna work fine uh, but you don't want anything too thin like uh, WD-40 wouldn't be thick enough in my opinion uh, some people might try that but not for me, that's just going to flow right out of there, so let's put some grease on here and get this guy back together. Just so you know, the long screws of the smaller screws, if that makes sense, go on the side with the scale and the smaller size screws go on the other side. Okay guys, are you ready? Here she is. Looking a lot better than it did before. Now, the only thing I can complain about is the M-Tech etch mark did not come out perfectly. It left a little bit of a scar on there, but I don't really mind that. Um, only other thing, during disassembly, I lost one of my washers, so that's why if you look at this it might look uh, a little loose. It's because the washer is missing in there, so that's unfortunate. I uh, was looking around in here and I did not see it anywhere, but I should probably not 
keep flipping this while it's out of alignment or else I could uh, scratch that finish off so in the end what's my opinion of this knife my opinion for six dollars it's a killer knife you really can't complain one bit now like I said the uh, original material or original design they had on this handle scale uh, gave you no traction whatsoever this uh, drilled finish that I put on definitely uh, gives a much better grasp on it but uh, no it's actually pretty good I've, I've loved using this thing at work to take down boxes it's really nice and small I've been carrying the Civivi Bull Mastiff in the meantime and uh, you definitely get more looks with this guy compared to uh, this little guy it's it's really not that much of a difference but I mean it the handle is the big difference but uh, you definitely get a lot more looks with this guy I found a fix so if you look in here it'll let you it's not a good angle that's probably a better angle it's probably still a little small for you guys to see but the shed I just put up came with small grommets for putting between the screws and the roof just little plastic washers sanding one of those down went right in there I actually really like how this knife came out the only other thing is the nub that you deploy with is a little small so when you're first starting it might feel a little rough on your hands but uh, not a problem anymore and uh, yeah. Um, so the M-Tech $6 Amazon knife, what do I think? I think it's a great knife, I think you should pick one up. They come in all kinds of different colors, I just went for the standard black because I'm not really about crazy colors and all that stuff. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video, if you did please leave a like, feel free to subscribe, we're going to be making all kinds of knife content coming up. This is Zach from Nighthawk Bros, you guys have a good one, and I'll see you next time.